The passion for vintage kind of has been a lifelong thing for me and ever since I was a little girl in a stroller my parents would take me yard sailing around here in Patchogue, you know, all along the South Shore. At South Shore Vintage you'll find barware, we have kitchenware, decorative items, furniture, lighting. We now have clothing which is fairly new within the past few months. Um, I would say I guess the vibe or the style I'm going for is a little bit more modern, not so much antiques. I mean I do have some antiques but mostly focusing on mid-century, you know anything from the 50s through all the way through the 90s which I know people you know kind of argue is that actually vintage but Technically it is. Liz spends a lot of time curating like the absolute best of the best stuff. She doesn't bring home just anything and she usually runs it by me uh, just to see if I think it's cool or if it's not cool. The things that she has are definitely things that people will want. Uh, not just everyday run-of-the-mill fashion items but like some of the the hipper stuff. So I go um, mostly to estate sales. I really love going, um, you know, to these sales because you get to go in people's houses and a lot of them are basically time capsules. They are maybe from the 50s or the 60s and they haven't been touched since. So you're, you're getting first crack at these things that people have had for years and years and years. I'm very, very picky with what I bring into the shop. I handpick everything myself. I don't just kind of fill the shelves with whatever I find. I like to be very specific and make sure only the best quality items come in, you know, good condition. My favorite piece in the whole store is got to be the Sputnik fixture that I hung. It was the first fixture that we put into the store when we first moved in, and it is a authentic, real 50s Sputnik uh, in great condition. Uh, no price on it, it will never be sold because I love it so much. Right now we have a couple of paper holders, like old uh, dispensers, which I found in an estate that the American Pickers had been at right before we were able to go in there. We have an old beanbag toss game, which I would probably say is maybe from the 60s or the 70s, which is really neat. It kind of you know, reminds me of the cornhole games that people love now. Sometimes you go into any antique stores and they're just completely filled with junk and it can be overwhelming and you almost feel like you know where do I look you know and you don't want to touch anything. Here I want people to be able to see everything and, and touch everything not feel like they're gonna you know knock everything over and break everything. And I want it to be cool but um, not too stuffy. 